Hello everyone. Hola, bonjour, good day. Vanakkam, namaste. I hope you all are doing great today. I'm your host Nidhi Prakash. And my co-host, my husband Ajay Prakash, he is also here with us. Hey Ajay. What a fine Sunday morning. Thank you all for joining. I am so excited to be your host this morning. Yeah, this is a wonderful morning today. It's sunny and bright. Even it's so beautiful that we heard a lot of bird noise today morning early morning and it was beautiful out there. So, we are all set for this session. This is Zentangle art session and we are going to use the supplies which you can see on my art table. We need a three and a half inch square tile. You can use any kind of three and a half inch square tile. Maybe you can draw one this size square on any paper. We need few extra smaller tiles, bijou tiles or maybe you can draw those uh, tangles at the side of your tile on your paper. We need a black marker pen. I'm going to use Micron 01. It's a little thin tip pen because the tile size is a little smaller. If you are using a bigger tile, maybe you can use a little thick tip pen. One pencil, graphite pencil for the shading. And a big happy heart and a smile on the face. Right? So, we are going to use four tangles today. So, first... Let me just show you quickly a sneak peek of the art, the Zentangle tile which we are going to draw together. And I have been asked a few questions about Zentangle, its method and what are the different categories of the Zentangle. So we'll discuss all that as we move forward and I'll keep talking about all those topics. So let's first start our tangle and our very first and the very easy tangle which we have already used so many times is the print arm tangle which we are going to use today. This is the tangle and I'm directly working on my this previous style. As you can see the name of this tangle is print arm it's just a spiral. As you can see, I'm making one more spiral here. And if it's going under any other spiral, we'll just stop there and we'll not draw at that part and it will show kind of hiding. You can just draw separately, start your print arm. These are the spirals, which are connecting, kind of touching each other. And when they are touching, the other spiral will stop there and will start drawing on it. And so that it will show as if they are kind of overlapping with each other. We can do a lot of enhancements with the tangles. In this particular print amp, what we are doing, we are just making the little borderline, little darker. As you can see, I've already done in these three. This is a tiny enhancement. There are many other various styles. To enhance, we can add a sparkle. We can add these kind of, you know, making the lines thicker for, for just one side. Like them, like these. And then I'm grabbing my pencil to give it a little...
one more enhancement that's the shading so we can add little shading on these borders whichever print arm is on the top so just give shading around them and it will bring this particular piece little up and then we are going to use our tortillon to blend it I just wanted to check if the audio volume for Nidhi is okay for everyone. So this is the first tangle and the name of this tangle is print arm and they are basically all the spirals. Let's talk about the next angle and the next angle is a striping we have already learned that angle striping so before i use the pen i'm just laying down four dots four corner dots the basic zentangle style and then I'm joining them with any wavy line is the border. After that I want to draw one string like this. So I just did these three basic steps like the oops <laughs> like the corner dots, borders and the string to draw the striping angle inside it. And we are drawing these parallel stripes in this section. You can draw one tangle in various ways. This is just one style of the striping which we are doing right now. I'm going to show you my other bijou tile where we did a striping in our previous sessions. So you are going to see various different other styles also of this striping. So this is just one way and if you want you can make striping in this section also. We just change the direction to you know make this make these different blocks to separate from one another like this we can make striping in this one in different directions so that's how striping just with the striping uh, angle you can make a beautiful tile as you can see what I'm doing right now I'm just giving you a quick example you can fill in this one on your own style I'm not going to give you idea for this one just fill it on your own style and I'll see how you guys fill that one and then both sides. So I'm just leaving this one for you guys, okay? I would like to see how you are coming up with your own idea for this block with the striping tangle. And don't forget to share this 
tiny bijou tile or your paper wherever you are working on this striping tangle if you want you can use white graphite pencil in the center to make it more bright like that to bring it a little bit more forward the center point this is the different striping which we did once long back in one of my sessions and this is striping is a zentangle original tangle this print arm is a zentangle original tangle and here I'm writing my oops ink seems like going away and here is my chop so this is the different variation of the uh, version of the striping you can see you can choose whatever style you feel like so is everybody done with these two tangles so far shall we start the third tangle please write down in the chat if you guys are done till here Thank you, Jalen. Perfect, Daliska. Perfect, Panzel. Oh, you want me to wait? Okay, I'm waiting for a few seconds. Thank you, Kamala. Awesome. And now, let me change my pen. It was not working fine. Okay. So now, the next tangle is Stella. So this is not a Zentangle original tangle. This tangle has been deconstructed by the Jana Roger CZT. And if you talk about the Stella, Stella is basically an Italian word for the star. And that's how uh, uh, like the name has been given to this particular tangle. So I would like everybody to grab the pencil. Or Maybe we can do it directly with the pen. Let's see. So first I'm drawing a center dot. Please look carefully. Cent uh, is it better? Better? So center dot and then four dots on the four sides and then four more dots in between. Now I'm doing directly with the pen. We can do that with the pen, pen also, pen also these dots. Now I'm working in set of two dots. So you see here in this one, it's going down. This one is going down. Now these two going down. Did wrong here going down and going down like this oops what I'm doing because I'm moving it so these two lines are wrong direction Sorry about that because of moving my tile. So that's how we are going to draw. Set of two. This is the first step. After that, we are going to make dots on the top. So first in between these two, we are going to make like one dot here and it will go like this. 
So let's first work in all four sides. They can be little longer, they can be little shorter, wider, it's absolutely fine. This is the second step. Now I'm waiting for everybody to catch up with the second step. And after that, we are going to do work in these four remaining sections. Again, we are going to get this point and this time it will go opposite here. It is a highly focused tangle, so you need to take care of the direction. This is the Stella Tangle by Jana, Ro Jana Rogers CZT and it looks like star. Stella is a Italian word for the star. That's how they put the name of this tangle. And now I'm doing the shading. Now you can decorate it as you want. You can make a lot of uh, aura lines inside and you can put a lot of different striping in these you know the star shapes so it's your choice how you want to do that so let me just write down here Stella by Jana Rogers EZT And there you go. My pen is a little glitchy today. Beautiful Stella Tangle. Thank you, Jana. And now the last tangle. We are done with these three tangles so far. This is just a variation of the striping. I hope everyone is doing great and everyone is catching up well. Now let's do the last tangle for today's style and that is a beautiful funny tangle and the name of this tangle is Do Da. This is again a Zen Tangle original tangle. Basically, this is a border tangle or the frame tangle or you can call it a ribbon tangle. So I'm just keeping it sideways so that it would be easier for me. We are going to draw the lines each side and they are kind of not touching to all the way. Alternating from top and bottom. Zentangle is a small company in Witnessville, Massachusetts and started in 2004-ish around by Maria and Rick. So this particular tangle Duda was deconstructed by Maria and you know uh, when she was working this she thought that it looks like zipper. So that's how she thought that zippity Duda kind of thing and then she that name that was pretty funny so this is the two dot angle and again you can put a lot of 
different varieties in them like maybe suppose we are working in a curvy line so you can put them into the curvy line in the ribbon style like this way Maybe you can add some little tiny half circle-ish on the bottom. These are the little, you know, designing part, decoration part. You can add to this beautiful tangle. If you want you can add little tiny dots on the top or maybe you can add wading lines on the bottom so it's your choice how you want to you know embellish this let's do a little bit of the Reading. and we are kind of done with this tangle now and then we are going to start our tile yay I hope everybody is done but now here I'm going to do it outside and on the top it was inside It's amazing how simple this one looks, and yet uh, it's it, it looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. And this is so simple to draw, right? Just few lines. Alternately. Yeah, exactly. So. These are the tangles which we are going to use today in our tile. I hope everybody is done. I'm waiting for everybody to catch up with all four tangles and then let's start together. Are you guys ready? Send me thumbs up. First tangle is the print arm if you are talking about this one. And these are just the spirals and I'm going to draw all these tangles again in our tile <laughs> thank you Yelena yes more tangles for your collection Daliska awesome Monica share your mandala with us when you are done and now it's the time to start working on our tile so whenever we are working on any zentangle tile so zentangle is basically a method to draw the tile to work on a tile you can say that it's a zentangle art yes you can say but basically zentangle is kind of an adjective word and you can it's a type of method so Yes, it's a company name also and they registered it in 2004, Rick and Maria and their uh, all beloved, some family members are also part of it, their daughters. So it has eight basic steps and we always start with the first step with the gratitude and appreciation. So think of any moment, any people, supply, situation, whatever you feel like that gives you happiness, you want to appreciate or you want to say thank you uh, to someone, to you, these supplies or whatever you feel like. So that's how we should start any Zentangle tile or Zentangle art with a big happy heart. And now the second is the corner dots. So generally what they say that when we start any Zentangle tile, so it becomes really difficult how to start. 
and as soon as you just put the corner dots now your tile is not at all empty you have started working on it and here are my corner dots and then the border border is nothing but to join the corner dots and then the string you see me how did how i did in that striping bijou tile i made the corner dot then the border and then the string so in this one the string is a little different for the string we want again one border the inner border because we are kind of making a frameish style this is our one string one part of the string the other part is we are going to divide this inner part into four equal sections so just go by your eye and divide it into half like this and do the same thing other side and here you go we are done with our string so we are done with our first second third and fourth step and now it's time for the tangle so for the tangle our first tangle which we are going to draw is the stella here the stella tangle so for the stella tangle we already have the center point right and now we need so we are going to we need eight more points so we already have these four sections so we are going to draw you know one point point yes can we wait a little bit and there's okay. a question why do we not use scales so you can use scales but in this style especially you know there is no rule that you can't use a scale you can use a scale no problem but the basic concept of the zentangle method is to enjoy the process and not to focus on the you know tools not to focus on the measurements not to focus on to make it very symmetrical not to focus on all those things which might bother you rather focus on the process and enjoy it let it be a little bigger smaller it's absolutely fine because we are just making an abstract art so i think that might be the reason but there is no rule if you want you can use it you can measure it and you can uh, divide it with the ruler no problem you can make this border with the ruler absolutely fine so here are my eight dots and now i'm grabbing my pen So this is my center of the tile and if it is going a little bit up and down if one section is smaller that's fine don't worry this is just to have fun and enjoy and feel relaxed so the process is really more important than your final you know the destination or the final tile and believe me if you enjoy the process your tile will look beautiful because it's just an abstract thing Now here I'm just making these tiny circles to make it you no know, more here This is the first step After that if you remember we are going to join this with this curvy line yes. and Now I'm going to turn it around, and then again, curvy line like this. Turn it around, curvy line, and then it 
it's okay like you see they are not all equal same size they are a little different let them let them be just keep drawing and enjoy don't worry about those particular sizes we really take care of the sizes when we are doing mandalas and zendalas because we really want very symmetrical circular pattern that's why we use lot of ruler and lot of compass and all that tools in that you must have seen me using all those tools in my fridays and saturday session like yesterday we made this beautiful zendala and we used lot of uh, our compass and ruler in that and this was we did in the friday rather in fact we used the dot tool also to make these beautiful dots on the corner so when we are working on zendalas and mandalas and we really want it to be very symmetrical then we use tools but we tried to we tried not to use tools all those things in the zentangle session and after this we already have our these four points here you see we already have our these four points and now we are going to join them with these four border points now i am again waiting for few seconds everybody to catch up i didn't get chance to go uh, and check uh, for apreet i'll definitely go today and probably i'll get chance today to go and check all the work but i really want to give shout out i just uh, look at little few sneak peek and i just saw few of the submissions yesterday and they were really beautiful and i'm pretty sure yours must be rocking and so we'll see i'll see today all those submissions including the today's artwork okay so i hope everybody is until here and now i'm going to draw one point here one point here in between these four please just draw these four dots in the center of these four squares where we are going to join our these other petals I hope everyone is catching up well. This is just one layer of the Stella and in this one we are doing the two layers of the Stella art. Beautiful. Beautiful everyone. Thank you for your feedback. Now again we are going to draw our eight circles. So you see here near around where we ended one here one here so just go by your eye these eight tiny circles tiny orbs And now we are drawing the second layer of our this Stella star. So please look carefully. We already drew these eight beautiful orbs or, or circles. So now every circle we are going to join this inner eight circles. So join from the come from the out and go in like that. Come from the out 
and make this curvy line. I'm doing this again. Come from the outside and join this. I know guys this is not an easy tangle this is a highly focused tangle and I made it in the two layers also so but I'm drawing I'm trying to draw really very slow shall I start with the next step Ajay what do you think I, I think so. Maybe we can wait about 15 seconds. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, we are almost ready to... Uh, okay, now guys, you remember we drew these four big petals. So just on the top of them, just make the point. On the outer frame here and now it's going to reach on that top point like this These are our outer layer of the Stella and after that we already have these four corners. Now we are going to reach to these four corners with our these two tiny outer orbs. These are the kind of star rays which are flaring out. So here is our tangle tela. We are done with our tangle Stella right now and we'll start with the other tangles. Please write down in the chat. Let's see who all are drawing along with me. Write down one if you are drawing with me. Write down two if you are just enjoying the session. Maybe you guys can draw later or maybe you just enjoy watching the video. Awesome. So many many ones. Beautiful. Thank you, Yelena. Thank you, Deliska, Prapreet, Claudia, Sneha, Rashmi. Elba, Ashish, Jackie Brownie, Amini, Lena, Deb Bradway, Carmela, Bindu. Beautiful. Thank you, Linda. Glad to see you here after so long. All in one zone. Diksha, beautiful. Beautiful. So we are done with the Stella and now we'll start working inside of these kind of we are using this stellar tangle as our string because we are going to draw a few tangles inside them and that's called the tangulation when you you know change the tangle and you use some part of it or maybe you can add more than one tangle more than two or two tangles together so that's what we are going to do now in these let's first work in these inner parts so, in these inner parts, we are just going to, you know, divide our tangle first. Draw this beautiful straight line and divide it into two curvy lines at each side. We are going to wade 
our these lines from the edge Uh, the fourth pin number are we using right now? I'm using zero one. I didn't change my pen, and I think I'm not going to change my pen in the whole tile. I'm going to just use zero one, and I'm going to repeat the same thing in all these four. First, I'm going to divide it into the center, and two lines at each corner. And then I'm going to do these rounding technique kind of on the very edge. If you have thinner than zero one, maybe zero zero five, if you want, you can use that. I have been asked about the different categories of different tangles. Oops. Let me just put this up. There are various categories which you can divide one tangle. Sometimes what happens like one tangle can fit in different categories too. So it's your choice how you want to put that tangle in which category, whichever you like to use that tangle in. So like there is one category called the organic tangle. That is such a vast category and you know like just making these aura lines inside the second petal right now so in that organic tangle you can divide some tangles into the leaf tangles or the vine tangles or the nature inspired tangles and all those can come into the organic tangles so it's your choice how you want to keep it and how you want to save them let me complete these two aura lines and then I'll show you you of my storage of the tangles with their names, the categories. I'm just done with these two layers kind of. In this one I just did aura line inside and the inner one I divided it into different sections and do the rounding on the very edge. And there you go. Like you see these are kind of the filler tangles tangles or you can say textures sometimes we just want to add textures so you can divide your tangles how you want to use them so a lot of people use jetties as the drama tangle but I generally use them as the filler or to give the texture these are the kind of the drama tangles when you put a lot of black and a lot of you know create contrast in your style if you want to create a lot of contrast then you use these kind of tangles drama tangles these are the edge or the terminal tangles. So when you want to kind of finish off, finish, finishing, uh, you want to give to your any artwork or tangles. So you want to give some edges. These are the few tangles which you can use for the edge or the terminal tangles. But they are organic tangles too, you know. These Rixity Fescue, they are pretty organic tangles. These are some blossom tangles where I would prefer to keep all those flowerish style or those berry style, leaf style, vines. 
So these are the blossom tangles. These are the border tangles which we generally use to create border like ambler or the rain or the park we, re we used last time on a motto linked maze and these are again grid tangles which we use as a filler as a side tangles or to make a whole grid so these are just few varieties there are many 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 more and that's how you can keep your you know tangles you can make a journal and write the categories and you can keep like that it's your choice how you want to eat them i hope you get your answer and now after that we are going to work in these four bigger uh, leaves so in this one again we are going to draw first for a line we are not worried about the um, our these string lines with the pencil because eventually we are going to use the graphite pencil for the shading that is kind of you know hide away or mixed with the shading if you want you can use eraser there is no harm in using eraser generally we avoid using eraser in zentangle tile You can call them double lining or you can call them aura lines. Now we have this inside section where we are going to draw our next angle that's print arm. Here you go. Now we are done with the stella. We are done with these uh, dividing lines and then rounding and now we are working on the print arm tangle inside of our these leaves the first print arm we are going to draw in the very center on the top we'll start from there here you go and now next we are going to draw at each side you can if you want you can draw little tiny ones if you want you can draw these bigger ones it's your choice how you want to draw. Now I'm just filling these leftover spaces. This is my one section of the print arms and we are going to repeat the same thing in all those four sections. Let them be a little bigger, smaller, it's absolutely fine. Just make sure if they are touching to the other print arm, just stop there and don't draw over it. And try to fill it everywhere. Don't leave empty spaces.
If you guys have any question regarding all the mandalas, zandalas, zentangle, you can ask me on my Facebook page, on Discord, on uh, my WhatsApp. Yes, yes, Ajay, on WhatsApp. And I try to reply back in my sessions. And I'll try my best so that everyone knows that. Also folks. Okay, sorry. So uh, we have a replay up and running. It's nidiprakashars.com. Uh, we have the entire uh, schedule, the course schedule, session schedule on there. So if you go to the website, you will be able to download the calendar on your phone as well. So the instructions are up on there. If you need any help, just message us on WhatsApp, Discord, Facebook, and we'll be glad to help you out. Thank you, Ajay. Now you see where we drew our these borders. So we are going to work a little bit in our borders now. So I'm just drawing. So don't draw over that Stella. Oops. This is our inner border and for the outer border we already have the whole line because they are kind of just touching. I'm using the same pen 01. And now I would like everybody to make the aura line of these border and please stop when other pattern comes in the way. Mm -hmm. So there's a question from Alicia and she wants to know what do you normally use to color your mandalas, zandalas, zentangles? So there are different different ways like uh, to color all the different mandalas, zandala. If you want like I can show you. This is the one which we are going to do together in July session. Uh, this mandala we are going to do together live in July session. You can see the in the upcoming stream and we are going to use a lot of color pencils and the golden acrylic paint for these dots and black marker pen. So and it's a bigger mandala. So everybody who is going to join me in this session, please uh, be ready with the nine inch square paper. So if you see these are the two different Zentangle inspired arts work and in these both I have used color pencils. So they both are the color pencil artwork. This is just the black and the acrylic white. This is Zendala. Here I have used acrylic paint and just the black paint. These are marker pens and the thin marker pens and the golden pen. This is the watercolor on the watercolor paper and the watercolor brush markers you can see. This is again watercolor brush, watercolor on the base, acrylic paint for the dots and some different other pens. And there are many many more and all the videos of making of these kind of uh, mandalas as well as different other dot paintings and other artwork are available at my Patreon. You can unlock all those videos just by all together just being a Patreon. So they all are available there. So it depends what kind of finishing you are looking for. 
sometimes color pencils sometimes you know acrylic paint or sometimes watercolor brush marker it depends okay now we are going to do the aura line in the inner frame side And in this whole frame, now we are going to use our tangle. Let's do da. And just be careful, draw your lines straight. This is really important to draw the lines straight in this tangle. Even if you are drawing in the circular, lines are kind of straightish. I think it this way so that you guys can see me drawing. everyone who's watching the video right now it we would highly appreciate if you can leave a thumbs up and a like to the video thank you i hope everyone is enjoying Once you are done, don't forget to take a picture of your work and share with me. I'm also going to take a picture of this work which we are doing right now and I'm going to make a post at my Facebook page. You can share your work there at that post with me. And I want to give a huge shout out to everyone, whoever is sharing or shared their work with me. So nice to see all those, you know, the just one pattern and everyone's uh, artwork is different from others. They all are drawing, you all are drawing with me together. It's still everyone has their own, you know, element, own style. So, and that uh, is really beautiful to see. Same tangle, same instructions, still different results and those personalized touches beautiful. Keep repeating the same thing on all four sides. Try to draw your lines as straight as possible.
after drawing this tangle doodle you can I'm free to you know decorate this tangle the way you want we can put some triangles on the base or maybe the half circle on the base or maybe the dot on the top it's your choice how you want to decorate this one Beautiful. And now you see our these little tiny uh, rays which is going all the way to the corner. So we are going to work in that and we are going to make it a part of this whole bottom ray. Please look carefully what I'm doing. Do you guys want me to wait to start to that step? Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting, Alicia. Thank you, Arya, Prenzel, Yelena. Thank you, Claudia. So we are done with this two dot angle typing and print arms and we are going to do a little bit more these striping and a little bit more these rounding in this one here oh we we are going to do the striping we haven't done the striping in the corners let's do that first okay so now you see these leftover corners so we are going to just make an outer line of these rays and let's first make the outer lines these just make these lines in the whatever your leftover space is And now inside them we are going to draw the striping and two or three times to get these thicker line for the striping sometimes if we are working in a bigger space then we generally change our pen to get the thicker tip pen Right now we are just working in a tiny small area so this zero one size is perfect for it.
keep on rotating your tile there you go beautiful striping and now it's the time to work in these corner rays so please look carefully we are going to join this circle this tiny this dot of the bottom ray I joined all four sides for these outer orbs, outer circles to the tip of this smaller rays inside. And now we are going to do exactly the same thing. We are going to divide it into as many sections as you can. Here I can divide it into three of them and do the rounding kind of thing or the weighting kind of thing in the borders We are going to repeat the same thing The same thing in this one. These tiny. Beautiful. And just aura lines here inside of the waves. Three aura lines all are starting from this orb and they are not kind of going all the way to the corner. You are using color somebody said that you are going to use the color so you can use little dark light light lighter like the same shade in different ways to make this going a little further away Ta we are done drawing and now it's the time for the shading yeah, let's wait about uh, half a minute or so, so people do this step. <laughs> we can wait and we are done drawing all the tangles. We did print dump, striping, stella and duda, these four tangles. And now 
it's the time for the shading for the shading we need a pencil and one our tortillon so shall i start the first shading we are going to do in our these four empty petals kind of shape we are going to do on the lay down the graphite on the very border of them as you see there is a line in the middle let it be uh, Nidhi let's bring the camera closer to the artwork please you see now you don't see that uh, middle line which we just drew that's how these guidelines or these uh, our strings kind of fade away or mixes with our artwork is the first leaf and we are going to repeat the same thing in all four leaves together now i am just laying down the graphite on the borders and then i'm going to grab my tortillon and using this circular motion i'm going to fill this away so in case uh, our participants do not have tortillons, what else can they use, Nidhi? So if you don't have the tortillon, you can use Q-tip. You see these kind of Q-tips? You can see me using Q-tip in this one. Just give me a second. Let me lay down the graphite. And if you don't have the Q-tip, you can use, you know, those tissue papers. So like if you have the Q-tip, just use it. And then you can tip like this for the blending. Only problem is you see a little bit is going out, so just be very careful. Keep it straight and don't go, don't let it go out. If you want to use the tissue paper, so just take a small piece of the tissue paper, fold all the corners inside like this, so that you don't see the corner outside, and fold it half. You see this small round surface and then you can use the corner of this to you know to blend it that will also work because tortillon or paper stumps are all are also the you know the paper coils they are also made up with the paper so you can make your own paper coil your own stumps your own tortillons So, a question from Alicia, uh, do we need to shade the zindalas or zentangles if we are coloring them as well? Yeah, can you repeat the question please? I am sorry I didn't. Yeah, sure. So, Alicia is asking do we need to shade the zindalas and tangles if they are uh, coloring them as well? Okay, this is a nice question Alicia. So there are two ways. One, you can color exactly the way I'm coloring, so you are getting the values. And now over them, you can use color pencil. So values are already there. You can just add color touch. That also look very beautiful, very pretty. And other way is to just skip the shading all the way. And you can use colors. And then, like suppose you want the red color. So you might have to use little lighter red, darker red. To give that, you know, the value variation. It's your choice how you want to go about it. Maybe you can try a little bit on any rough paper or something that what works best for you. But there is no right or wrong for that, you know.
How do you sharpen the tortillons? We don't really sharpen the tortillons. We just they already like they come in this shape. We just sometimes clean them on any sandpaper or any sand block. just laying down the graphite From here base, near the odds, and we made these four sections, these outer rays holding both together, pencil and the tortillon and that kind of thing. Which is your favorite tangle out of these four we used in this? Stella, Striping, Duda, Pentam. Which one is your favorite tangle out of these four tangle? Yesterday also it was interesting to read. Somebody liked mere tangle and somebody liked different tangles. So it was fun. Let's see which is your favorite tangle in out of these four. Stella, Stella. Yeah, and Stella is basically the main tangle in this one. Thank you, Jana Roger, for giving us this beautiful tangle. And Stella tangle is basically, you know, uh, it comes in the cadent family tangle. There are around Twenty-ish tangle, we can say, it comes in the cadent. Cadent is a tangle, and uh, cadent tangle started that take off and the landing. Like we take off the line and we land at one point. So this is Stella tangle also comes in the cadent family tangulation. So I also love all the tangles, all the tangles which come in the cadent family. And now it's the time to do. In these print arms, fading in these print arms in the both sides. In the outer petals. I'm laying down on all four sides. bigger leaves where we drew the print arm that's why those aura lines are really important that kind of separates one shape to other Can use any kind of graphite pencil.
if you want a really darker value you can use will be 5b 6b or maybe the ebony pencil this is really very very dark jet black extra smooth prisma color ebony you can use that or even if you want darker than that you can use black color pencil and now that shade these tiny striping sections down graphite in the borders and now let's work in this do that angle and shade in the inside border okay don't shade on the outside border and shade a little bit on this outside of your big star petal shape too We are going to do the same thing in these tiny it's always nice to come one more time because after shading we see like little white spots are popping up from the paper so you can lay down one more time the graphite and then blend it lightly one more time Can you guys see the difference in this side of this? Ajay, do you see the difference of the one I shaded? Absolutely. It looks like the shading kind of brings life to the artwork. I really enjoy looking like look at this one side and look at the side where we have shaded and you can see you can witness the difference like how uh, it's changing If you want to know more about the Zentangle, so their official website is zentangle.com. Done with the two sides, and now I'm starting. side So in the pure Zentangle experience, they suggest not to use any other tool than these three, like the pencil, the tortillon, 
and the tile like just and that our black marker pen of course so like they don't encourage us to use the rulers the compass the erasers but you know it's your choice if you want to really use them there is no hard and fast rule that you can't use them but to really uh, immerse into the zentangle style i would suggest to avoid using them and if you do a little bit of mistake and little bit of here and there let them be the part of your artwork and don't call them mistake rather call them opportunities and just enjoy working with them So I think everybody wrote the Stella. Oh, Neha wrote Duda. Yes, Duda. One tangle, right? Now, like if we talk about the category, the Duda tangle come in the category of the border tangle or the frame tangle or the ribbon tangle or maybe you can uh, call it in the band tangle. So there are different categories and they are kind of overlapping categories sometimes and, and there is one category that's called the straight line tangles or the curvy line tangles so maybe you can put it in the straight line tangles too last section for me And we are kind of done with the style and I'm really happy with this style and if you see the eight basic steps of the zentangle we are done with the corner dots borders strings tangle and the shade and now it's the time to the initial and sign and to appreciate again so for the initial and sign I'm grabbing my pen and to write down your name, they say that to make your chop with your initials, like I made my chop Nidhi Prakash like this way. You can make your chop with your initials the way you want and you can try with different styles. This is my chop. And in the back of it, I'm going to just write down the tangles we have used. Print arm, that is a Zentangle original tangle. Striping, again Zentangle original tangle. Duda, again Zentangle original tangle. Stella. This is a tangle by Jana Roger CZT and you can write down Nidhi Prakash Arts. I am just signing my full name and date is, today's date is 
thank you ajay uh, for our new members nidhi can you let them know how can they share their work with us if they want to yes sure i'll share so guys i'm going to take a picture of my this artwork what you are seeing on my table and i'm going to make a post at my facebook page and at that post you can share your work you can check the other post like yesterday we did uh, this artwork and i made a post and there are lots of submissions lots of sharing and i want to give a huge shout out to everyone who shared their work last uh, friday and saturday yesterday and day after like day before that and you guys submitted beautiful artwork and i i didn't give the comments or anything but i definitely going to do it today so i'm going to make a post like that today and i'm going to share my work and you can share your work there with me too today and if you are sharing at any other social media just don't forget to tag with me with the nidhi prakash arts or this is a let's tangle together 13 session so you can write down let's tangle together 13 tag and once again our schedule is available on our website that's www.nidhiprakasharts.com and if you want to see all my past let's tangle together 12 other sessions they all are available at my website not i'm sorry website at my youtube channel you can see them and if like father's day is coming if you want to make a father's day card here is one example and this is the with the knot of the father's knot this is the celtic knot and we made this live last year same time around so this is also available at my youtube channel the playlist mothers day fathers day i think that's the playlist and you can see there and you can make this card if you feel like if you want you can make cards something like this just an easy doodling one more this one so you can make happy fathers day this kind of artwork they are available the videos are available there uh, so i have just linked the playlist on the chat if anybody wants to draw a fathers day card i i have the playlist in the chat now awesome thank you ajay and now the last step appreciate uh, we are done with the initial and sign so i'm really happy and i think I did a good job isn't it guys what do you think did i good a, did i do a good job is it looking a good tile so i hope you all also did very well i can't wait to see yours thank you christina <laughs> thank you alicia yay anushree thank you dalisca awesome and i feel the same for all of you i cannot see you but i can feel that smile on your face right now and that's what matters at the end it, like feel beautiful feel uh, happy about your work awesome thank you i am trying time to say goodbye next week we'll see again together on friday saturday sunday friday at hindi channel Saturdays and Sundays in the same channel for doing mandalas and dalas and pentangle art together. Bye.